For today's Excel tip, we're talking about the fill command. Fill lets you use the contents of one cell to fill in adjacent cells. For example, if you have a name in a cell, you can fill that down or fill that to the right to complete those other cells. Um, but before we talk too much about what it will do, I want to talk a little bit about the mechanics of, of using fill. There's several different ways you can do it. Um, you can use keyboard shortcuts. Here, if I have that filled in, I can do Control D for down, or I can do Control R to fill to the right. You can also use the fill button, which is up here at the right end of the home ribbon. You can see we've got choices for down, right, up, left, which are all self explanatory. Across worksheets, Series, which we'll get to in just a little bit, and Justify, which we'll cover in another tip. Um, since these are all self-explanatory, let's talk about across worksheets. Um, so if we had, um, say, a group of names that maybe we're going to be column headings across several worksheets, we could highlight those. And then using the shift key on the keyboard and the mouse, we can select multiple tabs down at the bottom here. Then we can go back up to our fill button and choose across worksheets. We'll say all. And now if we look at those other worksheets, we can see that those same names have been filled in on all the worksheets. The fill handle is the other way that you can use, and the fill handle is the little black square at the, the bottom right of the currently selected cells. So you can drag it, as we did before. You can also drag to, to the right. And one of the best things about the fill handle is if you double click on it, it will fill down as far as the data in the adjacent column. So that's all nice, but you can do all that with copy and paste almost as easily. Where fill really becomes useful is when you get into filling a series. And there's several different things you can do with that. Um, a, a series, we'll start with that, is, um, well, it's just that it's a series. And, and it can be it can be dates, it can be days, months, um, lots of different things. Anything that's, that's in a pattern like that. So, if we put in January, you can see it will fill in the months. You can also use an abbreviation. If you put in Jan, you'll get that. It works with days of the week. And again, you can use abbreviations. It also works with um, ordinals like first, and then it will go on from there, second, third, fourth. And you can even combine that with some other text. So maybe you want to do first quarter, and it will count those up for you. You can also do um, text followed by a number such as year one and it will increment that number for you and it will also do dates we'll go to a clean sheet here so if we put in today's date and we drag that down it'll increment the date or we highlight those cells and go back to our fill button and choose series. You can see it's automatically detected that's a date. And then we can choose whether we want to increment the day, which is what happened when we used the fill handle, or we can choose a weekday. And you can see here that it's skipping the weekends. We jump from the 21st to the 24th and then go daily and then jump again from the 28th to the 1st. And you can also increment by the month or the year. 
So if you're logging something on the same day of each month, you can have it fill those in for you. You can also get to these options by dragging the fill handle with the right mouse button instead of the left button, and then you'll get those same options right there. Now so far the things we've talked about are things where Excel can can tell what the pattern is supposed to be. If you want to fill in numbers, then you need to let Excel know um, what what the pattern is for your numbers. For example, let's say you wanted to have 25 rows on a spreadsheet and you know for with a numbered list. We can start out by entering a, a 1 up there and we can come to fill series tell us that we want to fill this in a column our step value is one meaning each cell is going to be incremented by one and we want fifty lines so we'll tell it to stop at fifty and then we get our list filled in for us automatically other things that you could do um, if you you can highlight two cells like that where you've established a pattern and use the fill handle and it will count up for you based on that same pattern and that's the same as if we'd entered that there and went to series and told a step value of 10 or if we'd highlighted a range first and told series then we wouldn't have to put in a stop value and it would just fill in our selected area another way you can do the same thing if we enter 10 and 20 and select those and go back to fill series you can use the trend option which tells Excel to look at the numbers you already have in there and figure out the pattern and then it will increment that for you or you don't have to have a linear method if you choose growth here and then put in a step value then each cell will get multiplied by the step value instead of adding the step value so you can see there it's multiplied by three each time that's about it for the fill command and I hope you find that useful I know it saves me a lot of time